I am Madison Timmons. I'm Chris Susie. And we're paranormal specialists who live in the most haunted city on earth, Savannah, Georgia. Every day is Halloween in our line of work, so join us as we spin true tales of haunts, murders, and disturbing Savannah history. I'm Madison. I'm Chris. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the most haunted city the, on earth. Bop, bop, boom. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the most haunted city on earth. My name is Madison Timmons. I'm Chris Susie. And I'm JT Timmons. No no fun name for you today? No, it can't happen every time. Okay. <laughs> it's got to come to me immediately. He's an yeah. Aquarius, if you didn't know. Um, he gives every Aquarius vibe <laughs> ever. Whenever I'm weird, that's what she says. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, just, that's, that's just from even, down to the sheer way you're sitting right now <laughs> is languishing like a is very, princess on a canopy. I am a princess. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, the podcast princess. You are. You're the podcast princess. <laughs> and um, you're the fae daddy. It I, all works out. It, it makes does. so much sense. So Chris. Uh, what would you? Swordmaster. <laughs> well, Chris. I, I Chris. actually, I actually have him in my phone as Ghost Man. Ghost, oh, Man. Ghost Man. And that was like, You're that was Man. like the first thing that, like, when I made his com, uh, his, his uh, contact years ago. That's what I called it was Ghost Man. Ghost Man. So he's always been Ghost Call Man. Called Ghost Man. Yes. Yeah. So well, he calls Ghost Man. <laughs> that's funny. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, welcome, y'all. We're going to be talking about paranormal occurrences that happen in national parks today. Woo. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, first off, if you're wondering what this, if you're watching us on YouTube oh, and you're right. wondering what this little box is, a little box. this is called Spirit Chat. Not a sponsor. And yet. Um, no. so we basically have been playing with this the past couple times we've been filming. Um, and during the fix today, we care. It Aww. says care. It just said care. Um it cares what I'm saying. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, basically, the past couple times we've used this, a, it has given us words that are... So strangely specific. Right. So strange. And because this is a randomized word bank, really. And supposedly spirits can influence the box to communicate and uh, through their interaction with the box cause words to come up uh but the words that have come up that are so very specific uh really do kind of amaze us we've Mm -hmm. we've we've had we've had two really solid like uh interactions with this so we we decided to turn it on during this this broadcast so if you're just listening uh every now and then we might like go silent or we might say a word uh because it's coming up on a small um device that is meant to communicate with spirits that's true Monique, uh, also, if you uh, didn't watch the last episode, JT has provided us a monitor so we can watch the comments as they come in because we are live streaming this while we're filming to the para junkies. Um, so every once in a while, we'll read a few of their comments. And Monique said, Ghost Man and Bushman take on Alaska. That'll be a new series on Discovery before you know it. So it's Ghost Man versus Bushman, Ooh. which would be like a Godzilla movie. That would. That would be a Godzilla movie. We'll be wrecking Anchorage. (laughs) Exactly. Um, So let's start out with our national parks. Diving into paranormal happenings at national National Parks. parks. So national parks are often hotspots for reported paranormal occurrences, possibly due to their historical significance, remote locations, and the natural atmosphere that can heighten the senses and the imagination. So here are some of our choices, if you will, of paranormal occurrences in U.S. national parks. Drama! Drama the is the drama. word that came over the spirit chat. Drama! Ah, oh, dramatic! <laughs> the <laughs> drama. We are in a theater. That so. is. That is true. We are in a theater. Um, so, the first one we're going to talk about is Gettysburg National Military Park in oh, Pennsylvania, sure. uh, which feels to me like a duh like something would happen. I, I almost think that uh, Gettysburg is one of the um, like one of the first introductions to widely accepted haunted locations because there are amazing videos, photographs uh, 
first person accounts of yeah. ghostly activity out there. I I remember and Lower. I mean like in the oh in the I'm sorry I'm talking too loud. Um, uh, in the eighties I or maybe the nineties I remember seeing video of what looked like people marching behind the wood line in Gettysburg, mm -hmm. and they're like I think that's a a, a ghost regiment, you know, uh, marching. It told Chris to lower his voice. I did. I got a little loud. I'm sorry. It, with the drama. Yeah, drama. It gave us drama. I think, yeah, it might be calling me out. Yes. <laughs> like, well, you are in a theater. <laughs> That's Jake. exactly what I said. <laughs> so, all right. So Gettysburg. So Gettysburg is the site servant's corridor. Oh, interesting. That's a very specific That's one. That's a super specific thing. Servant's corridor. Interesting. All right. So again, we're going to read out some of these words as we continue. So this will be a fun little side right. tangent to everyone for a while. <laughs> it's going to make us seem like we're really disjointed. Yes. Um, but Gettysburg is the site. In a museum. Servants quarter in, or corridor in a museum. We are never going to get through this episode. Honestly, maybe we should just have an episode where we're just <laughs> we're letting just this go. Letting this thing go. Anyway. Back to Gettysburg. Tell yeah. us about Gettysburg. Dark skin. Oh, my God. This is getting very specific. It is getting very specific. What did it say? It said, for, for the last few ones it's given is Servant's Service Corridor in a, in a museum, dark skinned. Oh, wow. That's very specific. Anyways, so can I, can I finish now? Thank you. Um, Gettysburg is the site of one of the bloodiest battles of the American Civil War, and many visitors uh, report sightings of ghostly soldiers hearing the sound of battles and experiencing unexplained phenomena. The park is considered one of the most haunted locations in the United States. Gettysburg National Military Park in Pennsylvania is one of the most significant and certainly one of the most haunted battlefields in America. This site was the location of the Battle of Gettysburg, fought from July 1st to July 3rd, 1863, during the American Civil War. It was the battle with the highest number of casualties in the war and is often described as the war's turning point. President Abraham Lincoln also delivered his famous Gettysburg Address here four and a half months after the battle. Is that where it happened? I know. So, so shocking. Also, Why'd they call it that? <laughs> I know. Also, Ashley said, aren't y'all next to the train museum? So, yes, we are technically next to the museum. That's very true. Um, but Although also, something about servants' quarters uh, in a museum and uh, dark-skinned uh, almost immediately made me think of the Owen Thomas house. That's what I thought of, too. So, uh, and it was just one of those, like, you know, uh, flash in the brain kind of situations. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But as we're continuing on, so some of the paranormal reports in this national park, uh, many reports involve sightings of ghostly soldiers still in battle, complete with the sounds of gunfire, shouting, and cannon blasts. Imagine trying to take a nice hike in the woods and just hearing, kaboom, you know, or the sound of a musket. I've been in uh, battlefield sites where the sound of battle is very, uh, it, you could hear like pops mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm not sure what that is. You know, sometimes you're thinking maybe it's like a large branch breaking somewhere, but it raises the question because it's like, am I hearing like the echo of gunfire from, you know, some other bygone time? Right. Also, wood teacher. <laughs> wood teacher. Okay. Um, these apparitions are often seen reenacting parts of the battle, appearing suddenly in fields or on the road, then disappearing just as quickly. Uh, people also experience the smells of gunpowder and the sounds of drums, which suddenly fill the air and then dissipate. A medium. That would be you. <laughs> well, while I was talking, if, we, uh, if we're going with that, because clearly I'm getting called out, I did see somebody standing over here, but it wasn't a dark-skinned person, so that was interesting. But also Could I have been a, a teacher. A teacher, yeah. Um, so, yeah, lot. Okay. Parking lot? Parking lot. We are looking at a parking lot. This literally might turn into a whole <laughs> investigation. We are easily distracted. <laughs> this is bad, y'all. I am so sorry for our listeners. Um, the sensory ex 
There it is again. That is syllables again. Syllables again? Mm Mm-hmm. Lord. So these sensory experiences are often so vivid that they are mistaken for reenactments only for the witness to find out there's no such events that were scheduled. There's also an area called the Devil's Den in Gettysburg uh, Military Park. Music box. Do we have a music box Ma- in here? Madison, <laughs> we, have to, we have to do this episode. Please. I know. <laughs> I'm just confused by some of this. Okay. Don't take it away. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, How about this? See, if y'all read it, it, only read it if it has significance. Okay. We'll do our best. Okay. Uh, this rocky area of the park was the site of heavy fighting and is now famous for ghostly photography. Well, I mean, you did name it the Devil's Den. Yeah. So... I would imagine. Take as many pictures as you can of the devil's den. Trisha said, we can read about Gettysburg anytime. Keep up the investigation. (laughs) (laughs) That's so funny. Um, (laughs) It's true, but uh, tourists are often, uh, they find that electronic devices malfunction and strange figures occasionally appear in the photographs only to vanish from the image later. Which does happen a lot. I've seen that happen many times on my ghost tours where people will catch a photo of something and suddenly uh, they go back later, their phone on that photo, it'll be completely blacked out. Or um, that happened to my mom one time in St. Augustine. She caught a photo in one of the cemeteries there and she went to show it to me at dinner and it was completely green. So, you know, it happens. Um, but yeah, that's strange. And there was a time when we we used film. So mm-hmm. uh, you take a bunch of pictures and then you'd have to wait to develop the pictures before you saw whether or not you caught anything. That is true. So uh, that's also weird. It ju- we just got the word monastery and the word nun came up in the last episode that we were filming before this. Um, so that's... Well, I was going with like teacher... And that was like, I was wondering if the syllables was about the teacher mm. and then it got hard. And then, um, uh, monast- I fled. I fled from the monastery. Is so, that, so we are, we are interacting with a spirit box and that is why we're kind of trailing away from our Gettysburg, uh, information, but it is kind of intriguing what we're getting right now because it, servants corridor, dark skinned, I fled because we actually at one point, we're trying to pinpoint a spirit here in this building that we believed was an escaped slave. Yes. Details. Let's just turn this into an investigation episode. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. We can talk about the national You're parks the another time. <laughs> You're the talent. Do this whatever is interesting. You want to do. No, it is. It is interesting. Whenever you have a new piece of equipment and you're trying to figure out. Oh how it operates and and to what degree it is uh it, it is firing um the thing about these things is it's it's got a lot of words and to think that a spirit is going to have just the knowledge uh, how to express itself through the box is very complicated there's a and i'm not going to pretend to even understand what people put into Low figuring pay. out Low pay. Did you flee from the monastery because of the low pay? <laughs> not a lot of, lot of not a lot of money at the monastery. Although teacher also low pay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this building used to be um, a SCAD uh, hall. It was a boundary hall where mm-hmm. they taught um, 3D art. That is true. Not 3D art. Yeah, 3D art. Yeah. Um, sculpture. All right, y'all. So in our show, the Savannah Underground, basically people we hear you. People um, they have to write. Any word that they choose, and they uh, they put it in a bottle, and that conjures the first spirit uh, in a liquor bottle. And so, uh, I we had something come up on the ghost box a couple of days ago. We mentioned it in the fix, and it was the exact spelling, exact word of what was uh, what was in the conjuring bowl and in the bottle and all of that stuff. And uh, these are random; these are our guests writing it, so it couldn't have known. And so I ran out there after we got care because I remember eyeing into the bottle and seeing uh, care or C A R. Mm-hmm. And it, and so I got it 
uh, out actually. That's if you've been hearing any uh, word, uh, weird sound. That's me scraping a glass bottle, and it actually isn't care. It's scared. <gasps> oh. Oh. Yeah. Care, scare. Yeah. But while you've been talking, Jay, it's been spitting out some other words and well, stuff. Turn it on. No. Oh, oh yeah. Like, like to where you can hear yeah. It and just your mic. So we've gotten. We hear you when you started talking. Um, map around the world imprisoned. I, imprisoned. So now, also important to note that we are a port town. Managed. 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 We, um, we are also in a port town, and we had a lot of sailors come through, um, so it's not impossible that this person could have gone and became a sailor oh, after sure. they fled from despair. despair. This is a very sad saga that you're giving us. It's also misspelled. Oh, it is. Jay, did you see a despair in that bottle? Did you get a despair misspelled? You said what? I'm sorry, what? Despair. Jewish. Okay. Oh, we were talking a lot of Jewish uh, um, customs. Mm -hmm. a little... Yeah. Did you get despair misspelled? Okay. <laughs> because we just got that. Maybe it means this pair. This pair. Us. <laughs> oh. Are you Jewish? Because also Savannah, um, which not a lot of people know about this, about Savannah, it is a um, hub for many Jewish immigrants. It's uh, true. We have the uh, the synagogue of the Mikveh Israel. Mikveh Israel Synagogue, which is the oldest Orthodox, no, the oldest. It's one of the oldest synagogues, I it, believe. It's one in of the, the oldest Southeast. synagogues. Yeah, it's certainly the, the oldest synagogue in, in Georgia, but I think it's in the in the country. It's possible. Um, Megan. This specific version. Why would Why? the ten thousand words bank have misspelled words? That is an interesting thing because um, okay, so the reason why we we we're so interested in this uh, device is. We turned it on the other day while we were kind of just talking, uh, and it spelled out a word, which was weird because it's a word bank, so spelling out a word is weird, and it was F-E-B-U-A-R-Y. It was spelling February without the R after the B. It's a misspelled word, and it spelled it out letter by letter instead of just telling us the word, which was strange, but... JT immediately was like, wait. And he went and he got a slip of paper that one of the guests had written February misspelled the exact same way. And that in itself was like a, what? How bizarre is that? Oh, here we have. Uh, okay, good. Um, Eni said it's the oldest synagogue in Georgia and third oldest in the country. That's it. So. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I, I, those are all the words that I've saved that guests have written down. Okay, so these are the so words we need any. to listen for. Yeah, and Chris just recently acquired this little gadget. I like it. I do too. It's very cool. Um, and again, whenever, whenever I use um, devices, I don't rely on the device as much as I have... Um, an affinity for anything that kind of breaks up the monotony of a ghost hunt. Uh, and so it's, this isn't like an endorsement on it. It's not saying that, oh, wow, this really works. It's just when you start to really weigh just the pure coinc coincidental nature of some of these, these things that go together, uh, you know, we were um, walking over the dueling grounds at Colonial Park Cemetery the other night with this device, and it said hidden graves. And um, it was... It was chilling. It was just odd. And and during that same session, we started asking, are we speaking to a new spirit or are you following us? And it said, follow. And one of the big deterrents that a lot of people have with certain devices or certain apps or things is they think that um, it's using uh, uh, the microphone to access and listen to what you're saying. Breathe, Breathe it says. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> yeah, you're talking too fast. <laughs> Um, so it, it's very interesting to have this um, this device uh, 
say things that are that seem conversational when it's it's incapable of hearing it doesn't have a microphone incapable of of knowing where it is it doesn't have a gps it is quite literally just a kind of emf reader attached to a word bank mm -hmm. and that's all it's got going for it which i think is fascinating legs oh, are you talking about jt's legs that yeah, is he's kicking up his legs <laughs> also uh, I don't know if we, I don't think we mentioned it in this episode because that was not the point of this, but here we are, um, is that we recently uh, have brought in a lot of antiques and also haunted objects to fill yes. this wall. Yeah, I was um, actually, at some point, I would like to put this device like really close to some of these items and mm -hmm. see if that changes the type of words we get and the kinds of things that we get or bring something closer to it to see if if that triggers anything different um, because uh, a, a lot of people uh, will criticize um, like I, I think there's an app um, that utilizes the uh, the microphone in your phone to create a magnet, a magnetized kind of EMF reader. And they're like, well, when I put it close to metal, it starts you know, spouting out words. It's like, well, it's supposed to detect changes in the EMF. So it that, does, that registers as a change in the EMF. So that it spits out words actually is more promising than it is glitchy. Because that suggests that when you change the magnetic field, it will start trying to interpret that change right. into words. So when it's just sitting there and it starts doing it, or you start seeing the EMF go off, or your your magnet is 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 registering as something is near it, then that is what it's trying to turn into words. Ashley said, "What are y'all really doing in the Savannah Underground?" Dun dun dun. Mysteries abound. The ghosts were here before we were here. So yeah, that, <laughs> we yeah. just moved in. We just with showed them. up. <laughs> but we do like to talk to them. Um, we do. Are it, we still talking to somebody or it got quiet. Yeah. It it, 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 it is, does that. Yeah, I it, like it, that. it'll go yeah. quiet. All the, all the apps and all that, they all like they all like, you know, constantly say death and murder and blood. But this one I like it because it's like syllables. Skillables. It's like syllables. <laughs> you mean Care. the syllables that keep coming up? Swim. It says swim. swim. Well, I mean, it is about to rain, and it literally feels like you're going to swim sometimes. It so it's um. It is getting uh, uh, dark and stormy outside. Yes, um, which uh, actually, in my opinion, feels like a good thing for a ghost hunt because you're. Oh sure. Getting, um, rain does have a, I believe it's a negative ion, and that mm -hmm. affects things with positive ions, and so sometimes it charges things. It stirs up. things up. That is so. for sure. Barometric pressure changes. Mm -hmm. All of these things uh that atmospherically change when it's about to rain or when it's about to storm do sometimes lend itself to ghost hunts or to ghost communications because all of a sudden the environment is different um, and whenever you change the environment you do uh, uh there was There's thunder, thunder yeah. mm -hmm. um you do attract uh um uh, an altering of the energy of you know anything that might be present. What's it called again? The spirit what? Spirit it's chat. It's called spirit chat. Spirit chat. Spirit chat. See, I <laughs> and again, like I said, this is not us endorsing this product. It's we are using it because it fascinates us. Monique just said, "Say a yo mama joke to see if Tim shows we up." We do not want Tim to show we up. Don't we have miss no Tim. interest <laughs> in seeing <laughs> Tim ever again. <laughs> And for those of you on the podcast who are listening and do not know, we encountered a chauvinistic nightmare <laughs> misogynist it is on youtube go uh, watch it a uh, ghost it. by the name of tim burglary was tim a burglar no i he, he didn't have the intelligence to do that um also uh with this particular box uh it's made in the uk which i think is yes. why it has that uh british it has a british accent, accent going on but and, uh, and it does have words that use the O U when an O is just fine. And, yes. Uh, Jay, say a, a a yo mama joke. Um, let me think. Uh, yo mama so fat she plays pool with the planets. We'll go with the O G one. <laughs> Tim. Tim. 
We're not conjuring Tim. I want nothing to do with Tim. (laughs) Nobody wants anything to do with Tim. Um, Yeah, if if you want to see our uh, consistent eight hour run in with uh, Tim being followed around by this jerk all night. All night. If you're just going to hang out as it goes, don't be a jerk. Mm-hmm. So I got a question about the, the spirit box. What exactly, um, What like, why does it come up with these words? Like, what's triggering the words? So that is a great question because the point of contention is, um, how do we know it's doing anything? Yeah. Um, and the concept roughly comes from... The spirit box, which goes up and down the uh, radio dial, and uh, spirits can access that kind of um, frequency changing and shifting to pull words out. And in very gifted spirit box sessions, what oftentimes happens is you begin to hear a very specific voice. And that voice is not a DJ that you're catching bit by bit. Mm -hmm. It is a voice that overlays on multiple channels as it's moving back and forth. And the question is, how is that happening? Well, it's happening because spirits are electrical beings. They have some kind of electrical makeup. That's why we use EMF readers. That's why we use REM pods. That's why we use these tools, because we think that the shift and change in the uh, electromagnetic field is the presence of a spirit. So you bring in a box that has sensitive EMF readers in it, and you're hoping that the spirit, utilizing its electromagnetic field, starts to interact with the box. That interaction is being interpreted by the box. Stool Stool is the word that came through. Like, how's it spelled? S-T-O-O-L. So, with that in mind... um, a lot of words may not be what they're trying to say. It might just be Vern. Vern. Vern? V-E-R-N. Like the name, I like guess. The name. Hey, what up, Vern? Hey, Vern. <laughs> is that um, your name? Is your name Vern? Are you the teacher? Are you the the servant? Field. Field. Are you standing out in the field? Are you about to get rained on? In any case... The belief then comes to a a higher notion that the spirits can actually access these words and through their emotional content alter the electromagnetic field to match a word. And then those words start to show up. That is a long, long shot uh, because we have no proof that any of it works. Subtract. Subtract. Are you trying to teach us a lesson? Yeah, syllables, teaching, subtract. Hmm. hard um so uh the interesting thing is there comes a point at which the coincidence becomes so large and so strange that you can't overlook it funeral Funeral. cute um and so when you start to have these uh interactions where it's indicating something that you are actually dealing with like February misspelled yeah. and it shows mm-hmm. up. That was weird. That is that too, was so strange. That's too weird to just row. row. Huh. Funeral row. Funeral how's, row. How does it how's it spelled? R O W. Like okay. row your boat. Or a row um of houses. Yeah, of columns swim, and rows. Row. <laughs> oh, so we have row. Um so again, I do not endorse any type of ghost hunting equipment bush uh, over any other, but I do love using them. And oftentimes strange and amazing communications seem to come through them. It's not uh, this definitive science. There's no definitive science that explains why these things would work. There is a lot of hope <laughs> mm-hmm. and a lot of, uh, of, of pseudo scientific notions uh, but in the end, there is kind of a, 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 a game of faith going on with these pieces of equipment. And I don't know that our ability to interact with spirits through these devices isn't wholly dependent on our ability to let go of the criticism and the doubt. Row, row of graves, row rows. of soldiers. That's what I was thinking. If we might be on top of mm-hmm. a, soldiers' graves. Yeah. Which We're is not 
We're definitely on Well, that. even that, too, because early we got major. We got Follow mm-hmm. Me. Follow Me, which is a famous um, military call. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You know, so um, we are we are very much distracted by this box. Um, but this is the thing about ghost hunting that I, I, I cannot stress enough. Ghost hunting is boring. Mm-hmm. It is a boring activity. Uh, the chances of seeing something or experiencing something are very slim. So having a device that it helps you interact, having a spirit box, having a um, uh, any tool, an EMF reader, cat balls, anything, it minimizes the amount of time that you are just sitting there waiting for something to happen because you are actively pursuing you know, a, a spirit or, or spiritual activity. Exactly. Um, Are you buried here in the field? Did you want to lead us somewhere? Because directly in front of us, where the parking area is, uh, it is just an open field. It's an open field. So. And that field goes straight to the canal. Oh. Contrition. 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 That kind of goes back to the monastery, the nun. Yeah. yeah. Which, um... What does that mean? Contrition. <laughs> being contrite, being... Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, also, I should add, too, um, just across from, the, if you go through our field, the city is um, doing a lot of construction. Yes, there is a lot of construction going on. Which that is for sure. could... You know, stir up yeah. a lot of things. Whenever you're going ghost hunting, some things to, to really think about are um, uh, how much disturbance is going on in the nearby area, how much things are changing uh, when you change uh, buildings, when you do renovations, when you actively uh, alter the space that a spirit is moving around in. Uh, it can cause more activity. Um, are you attached to one of our items or do we have one of your items? Would you speak uh, clearer if we brought an item to the box or brought the box to one of the items? Do you wish to speak to us? We'll give it a second. I'm sure. I'm sure that's a lot of. That was know. a lot of questions. And ghosts, they're not on a pay. You know, they're, they're not they're, on the they're payroll. They're not on the salary. They're they they they're, you know, they do what they do, and we can't that's make true. them uh, interact. But there are a few spirits in this building in particular that are quite chatty. Um, yes. They're also, I wouldn't be surprised one day if we get the kid that's in here. Oh, sure. Um, we've come across him a few times, but usually he says like the same word over and over and over and over again. It's like his name or something sure. like that. Um, if you remember that, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Head. 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 Are you a attached to a head or did that mean hand <laughs> we do there, have a hand a, a palmistry hand there's a head right there he, he likes oh. jingles and there is a head oh like the the um the the tribal yeah the coconut the coconut mm-hmm. that's the tribal mask but there's also a skull right behind you yeah tail oh head tail are you looking for a, a coin, coin? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what that means. We do have some coins in the building. Um, but, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> but uh, like, I mean, like coins that we actively gathered for yeah. um, prop use. Yeah. So Alex said he likes jingles. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So jingles, uh, for anybody who isn't uh, familiar with our show, we, we, we have um, you know, little spooky things that we've collected, uh, both antique and jingles is not an antique, nor is jingles like... Kind heart. Jingles has a kind heart. <laughs> um, jingles is actually a keychain from Amazon that, uh, <laughs> that I had specifically ordered because it was a freaky looking thing and I thought it was funny. Um, but upon bringing him around, like the first time I pulled him out of the box, I was like, no, I don't want this in my house. I don't want this anywhere near me. Uh, cause it is a very creepy thing. 
Don't, don't ask. ask. Don't ask about jingles. So now the question is, it, it does jingles have some kind of attachment? Because people always want haunted things to be old mm-hmm. and antique. Yeah. And, you know, they, they want it to be, you know, something that was found in a house of murder. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, one of the scariest things I ever encountered was a mirror, but it was bought at Walmart, like, and put up in a dorm. And it oh. had the devil in it. Oh, really? You were yeah. about to say it had the devil in it? Yeah. Megan said. And it just said, it just says Satan. Yes, it did. <laughs> That's crazy. It's finishing our sentences. All right, listen, if if this goes well and the analytics are fire and people really have a good time with our live, uh, our live um, ghost chat, this, we this should would... do it again. And I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a camera for that. This yeah. would become so a different, uh, a, a, a different segment. type of thing. We should do it. Yeah. Um, TikTok live. Yeah. Where we, where we use this for a session because it's, it's, it's interesting enough. Um, although that did send a chill up my spine, not to mention there's this freaky mirror right here. <laughs> just staring at Chris. Just staring me down. I'm just going to make, we have some blank space on this wall uh, next to Chris. I'm just going to put a couple mirrors there just to freak him the hell out. I would not like that. <laughs> <laughs> just for. There's mirrors and clowns. Mirrors, mirrors, mirrors and clowns. clowns. There's not enough. What you clown need to do mirrors. is find a clown mirror. That's it. Yes, there are not enough clowns oh. in this space. Uh, well, I'm not a clown person. Uh, tell us more about the mirror with the devil in it from yeah, Walmart. So, um, you know, what? a scat student bought it uh, to put up in their um, their dorm room, and then immediately started using like a Ouija board opposite it, using the the, the mirror and the Ouija board. He butted against it to communicate. And he was convinced that he was talking to the devil Yo. through the Ouija board, through the mirror. And then the mirror became a problem for him. So he put it on the other side of the door. So that was facing out into the common area of his friends. They all started freaking out over oh it. God. I got called in to deal with the mirror. And the mirror was so oppressively. And it was like, you know, um, not not quite wood trimmed. You know, mm-hmm. it was it was it was a very cheap like, uh, you know, long rectangular door mirror, but it felt like pure evil. And uh, and the student was just convinced that the devil was living inside that mirror. And so we had to uh, take it out and bury it on in hallowed ground Goodness. in order to uh, to make sure that it didn't follow us around. You know, as one does. I will say that when we stop talking to this thing, it stops. Yeah. yeah, you notice it's, that it's kind of respectful. Like, so in like that say sense. something. Say something too. Let's see if it come up. Okay. So, can you give us your name so we can know who we're talking to? We would very much like a name, and it doesn't have to be your name. You can just give us a name to use. Because some spirits don't actually like you having their name because having their name gives you dominion. Uh, which is why you aren't supposed to use any specific spirits' names uh, in in regards to like um, supernatural entities. You should not use a demon's name. You should not use, and a lot of people will will call you out if you start using certain. Um, uh, like people will get very mad if you use the word skinwalker a lot. Mm-hmm. They'll say, don't say that word. Don't use that name. It attracts like, but, them. But skin, mm-hmm. skinwalker isn't the name. Uh, that is an English word that we kind of ascribe to it. It does have native names. Um, so it's like, I think Wendigo is more of a, a close approximation of mm-hmm. the word that that is indigenous. But Skinwalker is not. Skinwalker is definitely a, a westernized term that that is explained. You're like, how do you tell you know the Western people what this is? And we call it a Skinwalker. But they actually do have a name for it. Do you have a favorite object in the space? Frenchie, your husband is correct. Uh, Frenchie has written, my husband has a phobia of mirrors. No mirror in our room. I have to cover mirrors in several rooms. He has to psych himself up to groom himself in front of a mirror for work. Uh, I 100% agree with this. Um, uh, There was a period of time when um, I I had an encounter with a a mirror... uh, a mirror that killed somebody. Um, and I did not, after, after my encounter with that mirror, I couldn't look in it. I couldn't even look at like uh, glass, you know, like, um, like, like when I'm walking up to my car, I wouldn't look at the window of my car 
because my reflection stopped looking like myself for about a year. For about a year, every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, God, that doesn't what look man? like me. Oh, or no. Uh, and the worst part is my reflection was always smiling and I was not. And it it, oh. it so bothered me. It, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you're like, I'm just slavery. Okay, we're back to whoever we were talking to before, I think. Yes, you know, this, so there's a line of this. Um, there was a uh, servant's corridor, mm -hmm. dark skinned, um, I fled, yeah. slavery, even low pay yeah. fits into that kind of um, slavery connotation. Because there was a period of time in Savannah where we technically, there were people who paid their slaves so that, um, because technically there was a portion of time where slavery was illegal, but if you paid your slaves, then they were servants. And that's different, mm. even though it's really not. Right. But... And so, that whole concept of the servant, using the word servant to soften the blow of slavery is a big contention in this area. Right. And so, yeah, I, 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 I can see where that, you know, plays into it. Did you escape from a servant's quarter in this area? A question I have is what if we bought another one of these bad boys and put it next to that one and then they just talk to each other? I also have the necrometer. We can turn that on and put it right next to it and see if that does anything. So we're oh, talking Lord. about uh, the necrometer is a is an app that you can download. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what did it say? How dare you? Um, <laughs> right wing. Right wing. <laughs> right wing. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> the the necrometer is an interesting. Are you saying app. that we're right wing? No. Because that is incorrect. That, that's very incorrect. Unless you're suggesting that this room is the right wing of this building, of this outcross, with kind of, I don't know. Or, I got you're ta or you're talking about Patrick behind you. Right. Oh. <laughs> Standing by the right wing. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, Are you saying, which part of that was wrong? <laughs> oh, Chris, that might be a little too much for the audio. Like, I just worry about that. Yeah. Oh, that works. Yeah. Which part of that was wrong? Pushed. 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 Were you pushed? This has become just a straight up uh, uh, spirit yeah, chat we're wrong with session. It. Let's, let's test it out. Let's see if people yeah. want to listen to this. I mean, the, the chat is enjoying this. The chat is so. enjoying they're, it. They're on fire. Yeah. So I just turned on the, uh, the necrometer. One of the things about the necrometer that I like is that it does not access your data. It doesn't use the GPS. It doesn't use a microphone. It is uh, an aggregated uh, word finder. It is actually scanning both in radio frequencies and trying to uh, establish um, uh, access to a word bank. Um, and the word that it, it said right off the bat was daytime. So interesting listen now yeah the spirit Ooh. chat says listen now listen now okay okay what we're, we're listening what do you have to say pal, pal. listen now pal <laughs> listen now pal well so pal was the other one yeah so pal came up on the necrometer yeah. listen oh. now came up on the spirit chat so listen now pal, listen now, pal. i got something to say to you we are listening please do you have something to say Um, Ashley said, didn't Susie King Taylor flee Savannah when she caught teaching, uh, was caught teaching kids how to read and write dinner. Yo, that's crazy. I'm looking up what I want to eat. <laughs> really? Yes. I am so hung. I'm voraciously hungry. I've only had trail mix today. So and we like just got the name Dennis on the necrometer. Dennis. 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 What time is it? It's five or three. Mm -hmm. Dennis. And we got dinner on dinner. this. Dennis. And Dennis. Oh, okay. Is your name Dennis? Are you calling JT out for looking at a menu while he's supposed to be ghost hunting? You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the food. Everyone listening understands where I'm coming from. Okay. Cow. Are you looking at beef? 
It's just a cow. Are you looking at burgers? Yeah. No. Strange bird. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the strange bird menu, and, and I was thinking about getting the berria burger. <laughs> That's nuts, It just said yo. cow. It did. Okay. It, so it must be standing by you, Jay, looking oh at your gosh. phone. Like, or this, maybe it's hungry too. It's like, hey, he's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. <laughs> Heck yeah, I do. Um, yeah. The interesting, uh, what Ashley was saying with the Susie K- uh, King Taylor thing, um, that is an interesting point. Dirt um, came through Necrometer. The only thing is steam. Steam. Um. Uh, yeah, Frenchie, go ahead and ask some questions, and we'll we'll yeah, read them we'll out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By all means, uh, a- a- ask away. That's why. We Who got knows? This maybe big old transmitting monitor. through the uh, through through the internet will be a, a, a form of activating conversation or stimulating uh, uh, mm-hmm. energy. We don't know. The um, but I don't know what the connection would be to this area in particular with Susie King Taylor. Like in the, where we are right not now. Not where we are, no. Um, that's not it, to say that it, it couldn't be, and that's not right. to say that this isn't drawing from... Other places. Yeah, you know, we, we, we can't know how localized these experiences are. Uh, it, it stands to reason that we would be dealing with the spirit that is closest. We just got cold. On the necrometer. We got cold earlier, didn't we? We did get cold earlier. And yes, the Berea burger is delicious, which is why <laughs> yeah, it the is really good, Ashley. <laughs> and where so is that? A strange, strange bird. bird. I actually strange probably bird. not going to go with it. I, I got to watch my cholesterol. But. Well, the um, well, so you know, <laughs> but and, if you're hungry enough, <laughs> well, <laughs> right? Uh, you know where the Streamliner is that oh, used yeah, yeah. to have uh, the barbecue place? It's mm. in there now. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's where Sandfly Barbecue used to be. Yes, in that. Okay. Yep. All right. So Frenchie asked. What is the last scent you remember? Oh, what is the last scent you remember? It's a good question. What? Like the spirit. Oh. Asking the ghost, what, oh, is, asking what, the ghost, is last, yeah. what is the last scent, Intr- last That's smell? That's such a good ghost hunting Or question. if you can smell, what do you smell now? You know, What was mm-hmm. the most recent smell that you came across? Yes, please tell us. Because that's another thing about uh, spirits that people constantly want to imagine is that they have all of the senses that we do. Spirits do not have eyes. They do not have muscles. They do not have tongues. They do not have uh, nasal passages. So anytime they are... There's a ring. That is somebody at my front door. (laughs) That is creepy. (laughs) That is creepy. Um, So uh, anytime we ask them, even the, the concept of a ghost seeing us... Pencil came through on the necrometer. Pencil came out through the... Oh, you know, and been there's been a lot of teacher, s- teacher school, mm-hmm. things like that. Oh, Maybe. how many spirits are here talking to us? How many spirits are here talking to us? Maybe maybe the last thing they... they uh, pencils have a very specific smell. They do. And especially as, right after you sharpen a pencil. Yeah. And you get like that yeah. wood uh, shavings off of it. Maybe that's the scent. Could be right. the last scent. It could be the last scent. It could be pencil. Is a scent. It is yeah. a scent. So that was And actually this building was like a canoe. It was. Thing. Yeah. So drawing up plans. Mm-hmm. Respectful. 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 Or is that a respectful amount of spirits <laughs> talking to us? How many spirits are talking to us? Oh, maybe that's the scent. Oh yeah, they're I, a little delayed. I, I think that uh, that that pencil is a very specific smell, and um, turn back says necrometer. No, oh, no, it the necrometer's does. like turn back. It always does. Turn back. Can you give us a number of the amount of spirits that are in here that are talking to us? Who is at my door? Yeah, who, who is, is at my is? door? Man, my this is really my a... wife is at my door. Oh, nice. <laughs> While she is asking While questions. She's asking questions I love she's, it. Yeah, she seems to be watching us. I am watching my wife watching us. 
explore. Explore. Okay. Are you okay. wanting us to go find all of the ghosts in this building? <laughs> that's, oh, that's that's an interesting question because it's possible that they don't know how many ghosts there are. We we oftentimes assume that ghosts can see each other, and that isn't always the case. That is true. Spirits can uh, miss each other entirely, uh, occupy the same space, and never really know yeah. that the other ghost is there. Because um, usually, if a ghost is Related to another ghost, they can meet each other. Not a chance. Not a, Not a chance. chance. Not a chance. I do love the fact that it's um, it's an English uh, accent. Yeah. Not a chance. All right, spirit. Should I get the crispy chicken burrito or the berria burger? Should I wonder if not a chance was for that. Oh, supper. <gasps> It says supper. supper. You shut the hell up. No, it says supper. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Should he get the chicken? Chicken? I'm done. Or beef? Chicken or beef? Well, it did say cow earlier. Mm -hmm. It did, but but I want to know now. I want to know now what it think. Notice. 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 Power, says the necrometer. Oh, wait. The necrometer said goodbye. Somebody left. Eight. Hey. Spirits. Eight spirits just came through on it the says necrometer. Eight spirits. So, uh, Megan, uh, the number of spirits we're speaking to, eight. Oh, wow. Also, um, the spirits are on the fence as to what JT should order for dinner. Uh, hurt. Are you hurt because I called you out for being indecisive about JT's dinner? JT wants to know whether <laughs> he should get chicken or steak. I hope, it, I hope it says chicken. Chicken or steak. Because I think my my doctor would like that a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe the hurt is like, you're going to hurt your heart if you don't eat chicken. <laughs> a monster. A monster. monster. Okay. I, something about the fact that it said a monster, I don't like. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that because this is a pretty tame box and has not been threatening <laughs> at all. And now it's like a monster. monster. Well, it did say Satan. Yeah, but you were literally talking about... I was uh, about just about to say the devil. So. Yeah. Tesla. Tesla? Tesla? It said Tesla? Yeah. Like a testicle. No, not like, like a the, Tesla. Not like the it's, no, it's literally spelled like... Like Nikolai Tesla. Her. Yeah. Are you talking about the, the, the Cybertruck that's running around town? <laughs> Is there one here? There's one that I keep seeing people oh my God, take yeah. pictures of. I it's gotta see so it. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. It's not ugly. I it like is. And even weirder is it looks like it's backwards. Are you talking about the car or the person? Are you talking about Nikolai Tesla? Oh, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany Tesla. <laughs> so uh, the necrometer just spit out the name Brittany. And I know that we asked for a name. We also a got while ago. Dennis. And we got while. Dennis and Brittany De coming through the necrometer. Um, and I modern. had thought that we wouldn't get a name through the spirit chat, but on the first night, we got the name Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so funny. <laughs> I just read your comment. JT letting a ghost choose what he's having for dinner is a very Savannah thing to do. It really is. Let, make, <laughs> making the ghost make up your mind for you. Is there a Brittany Honestly. who owns a Tesla in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know a Brittany? Yeah, yeah. they are ugly. They Cyber are, trucks are so ugly. Bizarre. They kind of look like a like early attempt at uh, computer generated graphics. And uh, and and no one had updated it. <laughs> so it just still looks like a bunch of polygons. You're like, oh, this thing's weird. But it is weird Shrimp that... Okay, I don't even know what this word is. Stadia. Stadia. What S is it? S-T-A-D-I-A. -A. Stadia. Oh. Oh, is that Stadia? on that, that other app? Stadia. Yeah. Stadia. Stadia? Okay, pair of junkies, look up S-T-A-D-I-A. -A. Stadia. 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 Are it's you like a stadium? Stadia. Are you a spirit that came with this building? What was that? Mm -hmm. uh, gray face next door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you a spirit that came with this building or with an item? The spirit chat's done with us. <laughs> it's like it's, you people. What about what about shrimp? 
shrimp oh. burrito. So now, now JT is on to uh, seafood uh, because literature. literature, literature, literature. Are you attached oh. to a book? Oh, did you come the with a book? Gullah Bible, maybe. Or any one of these fine uh, tomes. Material just came through on the necrometer. Book material. Literature material. Literature, Literature material. material. Paper. <laughs> Paper. No. Well, because like reading material is a thing. Um, does somebody drop one of their ghosts with the, their intention word? Yeah, there's some interesting. Uh, now I know for a fact we had care at some point come through. I'm sure we like did last week or something. Well, even scare is pretty one close. of those things. That's pretty close. We also have a bunch of books that are in there. Um, what should I name this episode? Like we just bullshit the whole time? Or no, what? this. Yeah, this is. Um, <laughs> this was um, uh, episode uh, goes awry. <laughs> Ghost box takes over podcast. Yo, if this does, if this kills, like on the analytics. Stadia, spot, a surveying method for determining of distances and differences of elevation by means of a telescopic instrument oh. having two horizontal lines through which the marks on a graduated rod are observed. An instrument or rod. Interesting. Okay. Stadia was a Google gaming cloud service. That's interesting, too. Nursery. 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 We did get nursemaid earlier as well. So I'm guessing that the Stadia is um, that um, the device that we now have when we survey elevations, it still uses the two lines. Spirits. How many spirits? Yes, we, 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 we know that there are spirits here. We were asking how many. Um, the necrometer tells us empty. But that's just talking about JT's belly. Yes. Yeah. Frenchie just said, um, choose a surf and turf meal. And oh, a surf and turf meal. I'm going to let Frenchie choose my dinner because that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Trisha said this is my favorite episode. We have definitely gone off the rails. Uh, we we did have a, an episode planned, um, but we decided to leave the spirit full chat proof. on. It is foolproof. It is foolproof. We literally just turn on the box and we let it go. It I is almost a think plan. that we can turn this entire thing into just us sitting around <laughs> spirit box. Yeah, and so having a good time. We um, what we should do? I'm gonna I'm gonna create a poll on Spotify. And uh, y'all vote and let me know if y'all want us to do more of these episodes because this is this yeah is, this is kind of chill. This I, is. I now want to um, like this. Hang on, I'm gonna try something. <sighs> as long as we're we're just goofing off, right? Yeah, we're just goofing off. Okay. I'm letting I'm just letting it run. We're yeah. at 57 minutes, yo. <laughs> All right. I've oh. had concerns about this new thing, Mr. Nope. Mr. Nope. So this is Mr. Nope. Mr. Nope seems happy, but he's not. So I'm going to put Mr. Nope right next to the spirit chat and see Ooh. what happens. See if anything new describe, occurs. Describe Mr. Nope for the, for the podcast. Listener. So if you're Just only listening to this, Mr. Nope is a, uh, well, he's a teddy bear that is modeled after a panda bear, but he's so old that he's worn down. He's second hand. <laughs> yes. He's a second hand bear. Um, He's like sixth hand. Mm -hmm. He is. Um, so all that is left of his 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 covering is the um, is the fabric that at one time housed fur. So you can still see little bits of tufts of fur, but mostly. At a party. Oh, did they receive? Were him? you a birthday present? Were you loved in your life? Mr. Nope. Mr. Nope. I did get this bear from an estate sale. Um, so the way that I acquired Mr. Nope is I went to an estate sale that. Oh, wait. Cube. Look. Nope. Oh, nope. Just came through necrometer on the necrometer. Just said, nope. Yeah. The necrometer said nope. Yo. What That's did it just crazy. say? Old, Old souls. souls. Wow. Um, wow. So the and the spirit chat said cube. Interesting. 
a, like a cubicle, like an office party or something. Um, so I got Daniel. Daniel. Um, Daniel. That's not the first time we saw Daniel. We saw Dennis before. Did you shout? We didn't hear you. I Could shouted. you do it again? Did you shout shrimp when JT was asking what to eat? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, hope. Um, yeah, so I got Mr. Nope at this estate sale, and um, it was of a old German couple, and everything in their house was from Germany. Else. else. What is it? Did you shout something else that was not what we no, said? It wasn't shrimp. <laughs> Um, but when I went to this estate sale, they had a ton of creepy dolls, as you see all behind us. Um, I acquired those at this estate sale and, um, I found Mr. Nope. Pine. pine. Did you shout pine? <laughs> we a are, weird thing to shout. We are surrounded by a lot of pine trees. That's fair. So, I mean, I understand that, but, <clears throat> Mr. Nope here, though, was hidden in a box in the garage at the estate sale. As he should be. And I found him. Norman. 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 Is your name Norman, Mr. Nope? Norman Nope. Ah, Norman Nope. His name is Norman Nope. <laughs> That's so funny. Is that your name? Did they give you the name Norman? Or is that... Did you belong you to killed? a... <laughs> A child who named you Norman? Park. Norman Park. Norman Park? Did you like to go to the park? Oh, it's fascinating because you could tell that at one time... Probably, probably not. not. Um, or nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or nope. Just further nope. Uh, at one time, uh, Mr. Nope had a kind of a thick teddy bear fur... Um, and so he's got like teddy bear mange. He does. Because he's just down to the fabric that, that the fur was attached to, which means there's, that he, he's- There's a Norman Park, Georgia? That's what I was about to Did say. Did you say Norman Park, Georgia? Yeah. In the middle of Georgia, right outside Tifton. Save. Do you want me to save, save that location? Save Norman Park. And find Lord. out if there's a large German population there. Because- um, it said pine, and there's literally nothing in the middle of middle Georgia right. besides pine trees. Sure. Um, Ooh, it's a maturing teeth in the Coley tree. said that's one of my residence names. Someone. someone. Wait, Norman or Norman Park, Coley? It also just said someone. someone. Save someone. Oh, save someone. Who? Who are we supposed to save? Or was it a child named Norman Park that owned fireplace? Fireplace. We, I mean, we do have a fireplace, fireplace on the other yeah, side of this, side of this wall. wall. Right. That is a fake fireplace. Don't worry. It's not real. It's not real. Don't call the fire marshal. Is your name Norman? Are you, Are you looking for Norman? So. Explore. It's the second time we've gone to explore and follow me, and it has, very interesting. It is. It is very interesting. And you can see where um, you can really get lost in this this type of interaction. Um, the necrometer just said directly. Directly follow or explore directly. Norman Norman Dorsch. She is German, so that makes it even crazier. Best, best friend. friend was he your was best Norman your best friend? Although, I we can there tell. is this frozen expression on his face that just spells horror. Waiting for his best friend to return, all Aww. these years later, best a friend. building resentment for his loneliness. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Mr. Nope sits on the shelf. Intern. Oh, intern. intern. Are you an intern, Coley? Crazy, crazy. It is crazy. 
Textually. Textually. I mean, there is quite what the What are you text- talking about? Uh, do we need to pay more attention to you? Infamous. What's so infamous? Do you register this? My life, Austin. There. It says there? Mm Mm-hmm. But T-H-E-I-R, like there. Oh, like ownership. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, well... I reckon uh, we should probably close this out. Um, and I get my chicken burrito. I think that's what I decided <laughs> on. Maybe I'll do surf and turf if they got it. Yeah. No, there you go. Thank you, spirits, for helping JT decide what to eat. <laughs> wow. Cool. So there you go, y'all. Um, well, s- this turned into an interesting. I was ex- explaining his texture earlier. Yeah. I didn't oh. even think about that. Uh, texturally. 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 Is there any final words you'd like to give us? We're going to shut the box down. Thank you for uh, communicating with us. And, yeah. Uh, we will no doubt have more uh, more adventures with you. Yeah. That was a fun afternoon. You're correct, Trisha. Stars. 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 Thank you. We are stars. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I don't think that's what it meant, but we'll take it. Um, (laughs) All righty. Well, thank y'all if you've made it this long. If you've made it this Um, far. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Um, Vote in the poll. Let me know. uh, Let us know if if you you enjoy this this type of thing. I mean, we could do this at any time. Literally. And there are so many different types of tools that that are out there. Um, I would love to do deep dives on the different apps that are available now. And uh, because there are plenty of ghost hunters who use these apps with, you know, um, to great effect. So Mm -hmm. yeah, let us know. So, all right, everybody say goodbye to Mr. Nope. Goodbye, Goodbye. Mr. Nope. Goodbye. My name. And with that, my name's Mr. Nope. I'm Chris Susie. And I'm Madison Timmons and stay spooky y'all.